we got a great video on deck that I'm very happy to bring to you. We're gonna go out and paint a bando today and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Before we get started, let's do a couple quick cap tests so we can, uh, you know, do some hit offs, show some love and give a shout out to all the homies out there because that is what we're doing here. We are building a community of writers, artists, assorted Denzians of the night. <laughs> <laughs> All of you guys. Anyways, uh, first let's go ahead and take a look at the stock cap on the flame orange thick black. Thick. I love it thick. Of course you guys have seen this cap. Did I just do that? <laughs> Why do I, I always do that? Um, let's take a look at the stock tip just so you guys can see what it's like because maybe this is your first time here and if it is your first time here, make sure you hit like, subscribe, share, comment, uh, do whatever you gotta do to help us out because we always appreciate your support, so thank you very much. And of course, if you need graph supplies, hit up artprimo.com because that's what we are. We are a little warehouse of happy graffiti elves making your dreams come true. So anyways, enough of my ranting. Let's check it out. Doc tip. As you can see, beautiful fat lines, fat thick lines, lovely. Great combo. Let's do a quick, uh, quick little tag right here. Let's do a quick little tag right here. Quick little tag. Shout out to Cade. Hope you're doing good out there, brother. <laughs> Let's drop that one. <laughs> Appreciate your support. As you can see, nice, fat, juicy flares. Great combo, but let's look at some other caps. All right guys, up next is the Molotov Super Skinny. Real thin cap, works really good on these cans. One of my favorites when you're doing detail work with the Flame Orange, very versatile paint. I mean, you go fat, skinny. Um, I like it all, baby, I like it all. <laughs> I got a little nervous on that one. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and take a look at it. As you can see, it's very clean, very small, very even spray. I love this cap. Can't go wrong with it. And here's here's a little trade secret, guys. If we are out of stock of the MSS, get the black dot because I think it's the same cap. Just mold it in a different color. Not 100% sure, 99% sure. Let's move on. All right, guys, up next is the Lego cap, the Lego cap. We're gonna hit up Cooks from Germany, K-U-K-S, and I'm gonna put an umlaut. I don't know if it has an umlaut, but I'm gonna do it, because that's what I do. I do things. Okay. Oh man, I love this cat. Okay, here's the thing with the Lego is you can get really nice and thin with it, but you can get a little bit of flair like the New York Fat Cap, and it works on most cans. I mean, it is just smooth, even delivery, solid line, no feathering, but it has a really nice flair. Great cap, shout out to Cooks. All right guys, up next is the AP Micro Cap, the little red dot cap. Very, very nice cap to use. Um, uh, all right, let's go ahead and hit up Shell B, Shell B. This one I think is a little bit thinner than the Molotov Super Skinny. In my opinion, I think it's a little bit thinner, but it creates a very nice sharp line, but I feel like it puts out more paint. So more volume, thinner line, more volume, thinner line. Molotov Super Skinny, a little bit thicker line, less volume. You feel me? So this will go down a little bit harder, just so you guys know. So if you guys are uh, wanting thin, but you have a little bit more can control, you will love this cap. You will love it and you will thank me and you will call me and you'll be like, bro, thank you for hitting me to this red dot because the AP Micro is the shiznit. It really is, it really is. It's a beautiful cap. All right, let's move on. All right guys, last but not least is the New York Fat, one of my favorite caps of all time. 
a little bit fatter than the Lego, but very versatile, very useful, and I will use it mostly for the piece I'm about to do today. I pretty much did almost all my outline work, uh, pretty much everything except for the fill. Stock tip for the fill, New York outline for everything else. <laughs> New York fat cap, I'm sorry. All right guys, so let's go ahead and hit up Sen6 from India, one of my great followers on Instagram. Be sure to give me a follow at GR Reviews on Instagram, at GR Reviews. Uh, he is just out there doing his thing in India, killing it. Anyways, let's go ahead and check it out. All right guys, as you can see, you can get a very nice variety of shapes and flows with the flame orange. So why don't we do this? Let's go out to this bando and put some art on it. See you in a second. This house has been in the neighborhood for a while and you know, it's a, it's a bit of a trap house and uh, things have been going on and it's probably due to be torn down because of gentrification and whatnot. And I'm not even gonna get involved with that right now. I just wanna concentrate on the artwork and give people something and uh, makes them happy when they walk down the street. Cause that's kind of what I wanna do with my artwork these days is, you know, you see something you're like, ah, oh, that's cool. I like that. That makes me happy. And you know what? That's exactly what I'm here to do. Apparently, I, I didn't realize it, but apparently that's what I'm here to do. Anyways, so like I said, this is a collaborative project between me and my buddy Gola and I did the outline, he came in through with the fill, and then I started doing all the background work and stuff like that. And we kind of just kind of take turns doing different stuff when we do these walls together. Like maybe he does the outline, I come in through the, do the fill, and then, you know, maybe vice versa, et cetera, et cetera. It kind of gets us out of our comfort zones because, you know, some people are more comfortable doing the fill, where more other people are more comfortable doing the outline, you know, but if you kind of force yourself to get into all those different modes, uh, it helps us all sharpen our skills up. Now, the neighborhood that we are in is called South Park. That's why we're doing a big wall that says South Park. It's not an ad for the show, although I love the show. Although I haven't watched it in about five years, but I used to love the show, so if it sucks now, I'll take that back. But, you know, it's kind of a, a little bit of a play because that is what the neighborhood's called, and it's often been known as a diverse area, as you could say. You know, it definitely has its growing pains, and this house is, is part of that situation. So, who knows where this will go, but, you know, my whole thing is, you know, I'll just paint the bandos, and uh, if people like it, I'll keep it up. If not, I'll, I'll keep doing it. <laughs> you know, but I will be conscious of, of where I'm painting with these projects, and I think that's really a big thing, you know. You know, street art, graffiti art, whatever you guys want to call it, you know, it's... It's your own art, it's you, you know, you're doing your own thing. But at the same time, you know, you have to be conscious of, of the neighborhood and where you're at. And, and that was kind of where we went with this, you know, it's like, you know, let's introduce them to something, see what we can do. And if they like it, maybe we'll get more work. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Um, anyways, so as you can see, we put a little bit of a Dello time on the back of the character there. I thought that was kind of funny. Oh, damn, we're already at the, the shine part. Now, I'm doing the shines here and my buddy comes through and just kind of does a little bit of cleanup work behind me. And that's kind of like the teamwork aspect of graffiti, you know, like you need different eyes on the project. You know what I mean? Because sometimes other people will see stuff that you don't see. And that's really the beauty of doing like these big production walls is you might be painting something and someone comes up and he's like, hmm, I think you need to do that, homie. And then you're like, oh, thank you. It's a collaborative effort. We all make this pie together. You know, we all have our little fingers in the in the pudding if you will and um it's one of my favorite things about it it's a community effort it's people coming together and uh when it's positive and make something cool um i think everybody can have a good time enjoying themselves now i'm using i think uh new york fat cap new york fat cap to do these outlines and as you can see it creates a nice really thick line it's not the sharpest cap so my buddy is coming through and just hey buddy you need to fix your lines there I was tired, okay? <laughs> we, we only spent about three hours working on this job, but it was towards the end of the day, and I'll admit I was a little bit tired. It was kind of cold out, you know? It was a cold day. But I gotta say, man, was, this was a great project, man. And I hope you guys are out there getting creative right now. You know, there's a lot of cities that are boarding up the shops and stuff like that, and I'm seeing a lot of artists getting out there and painting them. Hopefully, we can transition some of this stuff into more mural work. There's a lot of bandos. There's a lot of boarded up shops. Let's make some art, bros. Let's get creative. What do you guys think? Anyways, there you go. It's all done. I hope you guys enjoy the wall. And uh, I guess uh, we put this one back in the files. 
for future reference. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. The key to dancing is do the dumbest dance possible, but just look serious. See, it works, it's beautiful. Anyways. Let's do some cap tests.